Damn! Why am I doing field work here? Hey, Togawa! Concentrate on what you're doing when you're working on the machine! You might get a big injury! Yeah, yeah. Huh. <laughs> Shut up. My name is Rikuto Owada. I'm an office worker at a factory that manufactures liquid crystal and special glass. And he, who makes petty complaints, is a mid-career hire who joined the company a few months ago. Apparently, he doesn't like working in the field. Although I'm his mentor, he seems completely unmotivated. Senpai, you're only 35, right? Are you planning to be a field worker like this for the rest of your life? What if that's the case? No, it's nothing. I just think I wouldn't like it if it were me. Apparently, he chose this job only because the pay was good. I guess he wasn't serious about the work itself. You'd better learn to do your job well before you make fun of the field worker. Heh, <laughs> I can learn this kind of job in a jiffy! Hey, Togawa, if you underestimate this job, you really might get into trouble. Ah, oh, Futomi-chan, you came to see me? As I was about to say it, Togawa ignored me and talked to the clerk who came. Here are the documents you asked for. Oh, Rikuto. Her name is Futomi Onaji. She's a clerk at this company and my girlfriend. Thanks for your hard work, Futomi. When you come into the field, make sure you wear a helmet. When I try to warn her, Togawa hacks her shoulder. Huh? What is this guy doing? Oh, Oedesan, we wanted to talk to you. Talk? We? Togawa smirks, and then Futomi quietly opens her mouth. Rikuto, sorry. Break up with me? Suddenly, the words of parting are spoken. I don't get this. What? Oh, well, we just happen to be so good together at night. Sorry. Futomi just said she doesn't like your bulky hands. Well, I guess it can't be helped. I see. I was apparently being cheated, and thus, our relationship came to an abrupt end. After work, I had come to an izakaya owned by a couple of my childhood friends. What? You're definitely better than him! Oh, hey, you're so loud! When I told them that I had been cheated on and dumped, the owner, Katsumi Toto, shouted. She didn't like your hands, huh? Huh! <laughs> Anyone who laughs at workmen's hands doesn't know what they're talking about. Well, I honestly don't know if that's the only reason, but... Ah, uh, I'm shocked. When I was a new employee, I got hurt at work through a series of carelessness. I got burned on the palm by a hot machine. The skin has managed to heal, but my right palm is still rough from the injury. Because of that bitter experience, I had become a bit of a nag at the careless Togawa. Futomi, didn't like being touched by my palm, huh? Look, my hands are covered with burns too! Burns are man's pride! But a lot of yours are self-inflected cigarette burns to show your guts. Heh, <laughs> those were youthful follies. It's a sign of perseverance. Anyway, uh, I want to do a hip-hop dance inside an orange. What do you sing while eating turban shells? You're gonna end up here until Sunday evening, so don't! Do you guys even know what you're talking about? Shinako hears her stupid conversation and shuts us off. She is Katsumi's wife, also my childhood friend. Rikito, you're not a good drinker, so you should leave it at that, okay? Here, extra turban shell. Thank you. Hey, Kachan, Hirachan. I've been asked to go on an overseas business trip. Our company's focusing on global expansion. I've been asked to go overseas for many times now. Oh, the ones you've always turned down, right? Did the offer come again? Where to this time? Malaysia. Go. What? Go! Oh, uh, wait! What's with the extreme high-handedness? Rise up, legendary hero! Save the princess, pull out the mustard, and go on your adventure! This video is not a fantasy manga, though. And at least let me pull out a master sword. I think that's what you meant. The usual conversation between my childhood friends slowly cheered me up. 
I got dumped and I need a change. I guess I'll go on the trip. They're my trusted senpai and childhood friend in Malaysia. Maybe the reason why Hinako is pushing me to go is because she's worried about my childhood friend there. Thank you both. I'll go on the trip. I've been staying in Japan thinking about Futomi, but that's no longer necessary. I've made up my mind to leave for overseas. And the day of my business trip is now tomorrow. I was making final checks at the worksite in Japan. I've handed over all my tasks to everyone. I'm sure it'll be fine without me. Although everyone was reluctant to mentor Togawa for me, I managed to find a replacement. I should talk to Togawa one last time. When I went to tell him about crisis management one more time, he came to me even though I didn't call him. Oh, wait a sec. I guess this is a goodbye. I'm sorry, it's my fault. It's not your fault or anything. It's lame for you to run away overseas just because I stole Tommy chan from you. I don't care about her either. I wish you happiness. He seems to want to make fun of me to the end, but I'm not even angry with him. Then, Futomi comes to deliver the documents to me. Here you go. You're really going to go abroad, huh? Wouldn't it be better for your own safety if you didn't? You don't even speak English, do you? Besides, what can you do over there? She didn't even realize that I was turning down the overseas trips just to stay with her. I'll just do the best I can. Thanks for your concern. But I'm sorry, I have nothing more to talk to you about. Madison, please don't go! Futomi and Togawa disappears into the sky! And me too! Hey, you guys! That was too much momentum! You even blew away Owada-san! Please don't go! Owada-san! And that's how I was sent flying to Malaysia a day early. As I landed in Malaysia, I was bewildered by the new scenery, but I arrived at the destination. Oh, I got on the plane and went through the customs gate, okay? And someone spotted me and ran up to me. Rikuto! You really came! Her name is Ayuka Nagashima. She's my kohai and a childhood friend. Ayuka and Hinako are younger than me and Katsumi. Her houses are close to each other, and the four of us used to play together a lot. Ai-chan, it's been a long time. How have you been? I'm fine now. Uh, that sounds like you weren't fine until just now. Because, you know, it's you, Rikuto. I have no choice but to be happy. <laughs> well, I'm happy too. Cheerful and happy Ayuka. I'm sure she has many friends here too. But was your girlfriend fine with this? Uh, oh, about that. I got dumped, so it's all good. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. Thank you. Hey, your Japanese is getting weaker. Thank you wasn't appropriate just now. <laughs> uh, me no Japanese. It seems she's gotten too used to Malaysia. Oh, what a, You've come a long way. How are you? Hirose-san, I'm doing well. I'm looking forward to working with you from today. He's my trusted senpai, Takao Hirose-san. I learned my job watching him. He taught me to learn by watching and thinking on my own, rather than having everything explained. When Hirose-san turned 50, he came to Malaysia to start up his business. It's been 10 years since he left Japan. He has a wife, but she's still in Japan to take care of her parents. We're pretty understaffed due to the flood the other day. Rikuto, I'm counting on you. Oh, don't worry. I'll do my best. Ayuka whispered to me when I said that. To tell you the truth, Hirose-san was injured during the flood the other day. He doesn't show it, but he's pushing himself too much. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, thanks for letting me know. Hirose-san never shows his pain. It worries me, but I always thought that was cool. This time, there's a plan to construct a new melting furnace for glass production. Construction of the building, installation of related equipments, and adjustment of the temperature for the furnace. It involves a number of processes that require a lot of time and effort. A melting furnace melts sand, the raw material, and converts it into glass. It's a crucial part of our business, and I feel a lot of responsibility. 
even so, I felt that every day I could work with Ayuka and Hirose-san was worthwhile. Cheers! Despite some unforeseen troubles, we started several melting furnaces over the past year. This sense of accomplishment made me glad that I do this job. And I was at a dinner party with Hirose-san and Ayuka to celebrate the accomplishment. Well, it was a lot of work, but it was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> Your English skills helped me a lot. A lot of English was really funny. <laughs> bitty bitty hot! No touch me! I was trying to tell the local employees not to touch the hot machine, but that's how bad I was. Well, he probably meant, if you touch me, the hot guy, you'll get burned. Uh, Hirose-san, please stop. Burn, huh? Sorry, Rikuto. Ayuka suddenly lowers her voice and apologizes to me. It seems she still hadn't forgotten it. How long are you gonna keep worrying about it? I'm cured now, so forget it! Actually, I got this burn to protect Ayuka when she almost fell down, and she has always been bothered by it. I was there at the time too. The responsibility is mine. I'm sorry. He don't say some. Oh no, please don't say that. It was my carelessness. Ensuring employee safety is one of the most important jobs of a supervisor. What a... That burn is a proof that you protected someone. You should be proud of yourself. Thank you very much. Even if the woman I loved hated it, I'm proud of this hand of mine. And on the day I returned to Japan... Take care of yourself, Rikuto. Give my regards to Katsumin and Hinako. Yeah, you should come back to Japan once in a while. They both miss you. Yeah, Rikuto. I was glad to see you. Even though we're apart, we're still colleagues. And precious childhood friends, okay? What's the matter with you? It's not like we're parting forever, right? We'll see each other again. Behind her cheerful smile, there seems to be some sort of shadow behind it. And I hold out my hand to Ayuka. Thank you, Rikito. <sighs> I realized I had held out my burnt hand, and I hurriedly switched hands. But Ayuka chased after the burnt hand and grabbed it. Thanks, Ayu-chan. For some reason, that's all it took to get tears in my eyes, and I headed for the boarding gate trying not to be noticed. Unlike me who was here on a business trip, Ayuka's here as an expatriate. I'm sure that Ayuka will continue to live here. Oh, I miss her. Oh, how selfish of me. Oh, I'll miss him. Childhood friend, huh? I couldn't tell him again. Be well, Rikuto. I had no way of knowing that Ayuka, who was always smiling, was crying as she saw off the plane I boarded. Back in Japan, the work site was hectic. Hey, hey, hey! I see you're back, Owada-san. Have you aged a bit? I see. He's still like this, huh? No wonder everyone's short-handed. Hey, concentrate on what you have to do. If you get hurt, you'll put yourself in trouble. Ah, you're so annoying! It's terrible to have such a nagging boss again. This guy, he really hasn't grown at all. Rikito! Uh, who are you? Y you forgot! I'm Futomi! A strange woman ran up to me. It turns out she was that Futomi. She seems to have changed a lot. Rikito, please, get back together with me. What are you talking about? Aren't you dating Togawa? Heh! <laughs> Please stop it, Owada-san! This huge woman? Impossible! When we first started going out, she had a nice body and was comfortable to hold, but now she is like this! Apparently, after we broke up, Tommy's body changed and she was dumped by Togawa. Togawa, you really are the worst. I was thinking back to when we started going out. Tommy. You were worried about your body shape, so you worked hard with me to lose weight, right? You changed your diet and exercised. I thought you were cute and adorable as you worked hard like that. But once you lost weight and became pretty, and other guys started to fall for you. Thinking back, you stopped looking at me from then, didn't you? I liked you when you were trying so hard. It wasn't about how you looked. 
I tell her that much and turn to my co-workers who were short-handed. This conversation is over. We are at work. Mikata, wait! I'll apologize! You didn't like my burnt hand, right? So just forget about me. Goodbye. When my colleagues found out I was back, they welcomed me with tears of joy. Guys, if there's anything I can do, please pass it on. Let's share the workload and calm your minds. At my words, the employees regained their composure. I was renewing my resolve to work hard with my colleagues again. But... You are so persistent and disgusting! <coughs> oh, watch out! <coughs> Despite my persistent warnings, the sound of Togawa's death cry echoed. By the time I rushed to the scene, Togawa was bleeding and his hand was partially severed by a machine. It seems that he was caught in the machine when he pushed Futomi away. He caused great inconvenience to the company, and he eventually disappeared. He has learned the hard way that one must be extremely careful around machines. Meanwhile, Futomi, who was no longer taken seriously by either me or Togawa, had been eating and drinking heavily again since then. Finally, she fell ill and quit her job. She's now in a hospital somewhere. Thus, Futomi and Togawa, who had wrecked havoc, quietly disappeared from my life. At the same time, great happiness was about to come into my life. A year had passed since I returned to Japan, just when my regular routine was returning. We could tell. After work, I was heading to Toto's pub for a drink again, and I was stopped by a familiar voice. Ah. Uh, Ayu-chan? Why are you here? <laughs> I forgot to tell you something at the airport that day. No, not just that day. Something I couldn't tell you for a long time. Something you couldn't say? I love you, Rikuto. Wha- what What's so surprising? I have been watching you since we were kids. I've been chasing after you. Even got a job at the same company. But then, you got a girlfriend. I cried over and over again, thinking that it was my fault for not telling you sooner. I even scarred you for life. And I chose to work in Malaysia to get away from it all. But there was not a single day that I forgot about you. I've always loved you, and only you until today. When you went back to Japan, Hirose-san told me, I have lived my life for work, so this is not for me to say, but you should live by the side of your loved one. You don't have to worry about the work here. I will always prepare a way for you to return to Japan. Nagashima, remember, the time that has passed will not come back to you, no matter how much you cry. He said that and encouraged me to come back. That's why for the past year I've been preparing to come back to Japan by having everyone take over my job. Thank you, Ayu-chan. I also realized my true feelings too when I had to leave you last year. I want to live with you, Ayu-chan. I want you to smile by my side. If you're okay with me, let's go out. I'm so happy. Thank you, Rikuto. The day Ayuka left Malaysia, Hirose-san was at the airport to see off the plane. Do your best, Nagashima. The figure of my beloved boss, who noticed Ayuka's feelings and pushed her back, comes to my mind. Be happy, Rikuto. I thought I could hear Hirose-san's voice, and my heart was warming up. A few days later, Ayuka and I were going to report about us to our dear childhood friends. It's been a while since I last saw them. I'm a bit nervous. Yeah, you haven't seen them for a long time. They haven't changed at all, though. I hope to have another drink with Hirose-san someday, too. Yeah, Hirose-san. I hope he's doing well. Upon entering the izakaya, Hinako welcomes Ayuka by jumping onto her. Ayuka, welcome back. And congrats. Oh, wow! Hinako, I haven't said anything yet. It's so obvious when I see you guys. That was a long, one-sided love, wasn't it? That day, Hinako pushed me so hard to go to Malaysia. I guess that was because she knew Ayuka's feelings. Congratulations to both of you! Hi Hirose-san? 
When I thought I heard a familiar voice, I found Hiroshi-san, and he was already super drunk. Apparently, he had reached the age of retirement and turned down the offer of rehiring, so he came back to Japan. Welcome back, Hiroshi-san. Yeah, we're gonna drink today, you guys. It's a party. Hiroshi-san is strict at work, but becomes very jovial after a few drinks. And he keeps rambling about how he wants to spend a happy retired life together with his family. His wife was sitting next to him with a gentle smile, and she already looked happier than ever. Let us be happy too, Dikuto. I'm gonna continue to live my life without forgetting to thank everyone. <laughs>